Hey guys, this crypto she does it all, a little bit of everything. I'm going to talk about Bit Bitboy, one of the YouTubers. The ship developers asked him to stop forwarding about uh, the creator of uh, Shiba Inu. You know. I'm not sure why we have this obsession. The majority of the YouTubers have this obsession, obsession with finding out who's the creator for Shiba Inu, you know, who's the creator for Elon Dog on Mars, who's the creator for um, Tonic Tectonic. To me, at the end of the day, it just doesn't matter, okay? I do not care. Those people who invested in the early days when Shiba Inu had nine zeros, ten zeros, they make, they spend ten dollar, twenty dollar, and make millions. They did not know who was the creator. It did not matter at that point. So why do we care finding out who is the creator? Number one, he almost. If people were to listen to him, this is somebody that has one point something million subscribers. So if anybody were to listen to his nonsense research that he's been bringing on the table, they would have crashed Shiba Inu because last week he stated for sure he knew, based on his research, Sam Beckman Freed was the creator for Shiba Inu. Now, can you just imagine... If people realize, oh my God, Sam Bankman Fried would not be the right person to be the creator of Shiba Inu because he already have a bad reputation, a bad rap with all the stuff that going on with FTX, the collapse, everything went to zero. So we would not want a stable coin like, well, I call it a stable coin, Shiba Inu with the sheep army so strong behind it to have Sam Bankman freed as the creator, it would not be a good look for Shiba Inu, period. Thank you. So that died out. Now he brings this guy, um, Naaman Hassan, uh, uh, Jehan. Like, where do you get that kind of information? And I believe the guy came out to denounce that and say, look, no, I am not the Shiba Inu creator. And they also printed me out uh, for some other coin. It's not true. For some reason, they keep on bringing the guy into it. And I want to give a shout out and take my hat off to Crypto Journey. Because Rodney Crypto Journey had this review on BitBoy. The first 30 seconds, he said, oh my God, this guy is so unlikable. And I can feel his pain. Like we, he had to do the review on the guy, but the guy is not the, it's not the nicest person you would want to put all your attention to. So I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Crypto journey. I feel your pain. We have to, you know, sort this out. Where did he get this information? You know, he's bringing so many unnecessary proof that the guy is the creator of shiba inu like why do you want to know you invest in it to make your money okay if it's doing great it's doing amazing it's gonna change your life good for all of us why do you care who created the coin the coin is being created the coin is here the person who created it want to be anonymous leave it alone vitalik buterian is out there as the ethereum um creator founder we know him. We move on. We still buy it. We don't care. We, it's not going to make a difference whether we know who the creator is for Shiba, you know, Elon, Douglas, and Mars. And I have seen some other guys like um, Zach Hemphrey. I have so much respect for the guy. And he he brings it on like nobody's business. I love his live shows when Shiba, you know, doing well. He has these two, um, three guys there, the two black gentlemen and, um, and Austin uh, Hilton. Like these four guys, I love when Shiba Inu doing amazing. And then they have this live streams. They He brings so much energy, so much, so much power to when the crypto market doing well. I love watching them. But when it comes to them trying to find out who is the creator of Shiba Inu, could it be Vitalik Buterian? Could it be Elon Musk? Like who cares? I do not care. I'm not going to waste my energy. I'm not going to waste my precious time trying to find out who is the creator period it doesn't matter just keep it moving 
You know, if it's a legit coin, we've been around for a minute now. Keep it moving. Why you need to know who created it? What that going to do for you? What difference it's going to make for you? Not for me. I don't care. I'll keep it moving. Like, I wish they could stop. Anyhow, that bit boy guy, he's 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 good for controversy. He's good for, for YouTube viewers. I guess he got one point something million. He went to the Bahamas when the thing happened to the Sam Bankman Freed. He wanted to be there to make a big thing out of it. Like, enough you know you have a lot of subscribers you're doing amazing uh allegedly you you have um publicized or uh, uh, marketing some false coin that work pool you know you 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 you've been doing your thing now they sue them for false ad advertisement i see why because he got a big mouth he can't keep his mouth shut he keep on talking talking nonsense and it's unfortunate you have people listen to people like that. Because the first week when he brought out that Sam Bankman Fried was for sure the creator for Shiba Inu, the coin could have dropped because Sam Bankman Fried don't have a good rap in, in the crypto area. He just collapsed his whole 30 something billion dollar um, crypto empire. So we don't want him to be the person who created Shiba. Okay? Then now he bring this new guy and for sure he's for certain this person is the creator of Shiba Inu. Now the developers from Shiba Inu asking him to stop. Enough is enough. How far are you going to take this? Why are you so into finding who created Shiba Inu? What difference would it make? Would you sell all your Shiba Inu if you have any? Would you buy more if you know? If it's Vitalik, if it's Elon? If it's President Obama, I feel like he's going to try to find who created Shiba Inu. It doesn't matter who. He just want to bring somebody to the table. And it's getting annoying. It's getting really outrageous. And it give a bad rap for us YouTubers, whether you big, small, just started. When you have a fool like that, have so many people subscribe to his channel and not taking the business serious. Any little thing he wants to make a big thing out of it. It's just stupid. Go to sleep. Like... Find somewhere else to go. Shave your beard. You know, color your hair. Do something stupid. Because, oh, God, he just gets on my nerve. He gets under my skin. I don't know what the hell is wrong with him. I hope he could just go to sleep for a minute and wake up the next day and Shiba Inu hit one penny. Because <laughs> he just talks too much, you know. Why do you care? Why do you care who created Shiba Inu, period? You know? Again, um... I have been watching him not for long, but it's just pure crap coming out of his mouth. Pure, spe you know, speculation, pure lies, you know. It's just like he's doing it for viewers, like for people to come to his channel, you know, for subscribe subscription, you know, subscribers, subscribers. And he likes drama. He brings the drama to the table and people come and come and, oh, this guy is good. This guy, I need to subscribe to him. He's bringing some good stuff to the. No, he's a liar. He's lying over and over, you know. And again, I want to say thank you to um, Rodney, Crypto Journey. He really, I for the first time, I watched a whole full hour because he was interested. He's always interested. He has this energy, man. Let me tell you something. I really wish he was the one, the ambassador for Tectonic, but they didn't give it to him. But he has this energy that will wake you up and say, okay. Let's get up for another day. You know, he, he's very at this. Like, I don't know what kind of coffee. Him and the Craig guy, um, Wogan something. Good looking kid. When these two together, it's just like, okay, I, I'm going to have a great morning. Because they bring it to you like nobody's business. Again, we have some great YouTubers that bring really good information. And at the same time, we have crappy ones that really confusing you and i hope people take the good stuff they bring in and then throw the crap away because at the end of the day it's so much going on in our personal life and uh business life work and all kind of stuff children and then now you have this idiot coming with all kind of lies and stuff enough is enough enough is enough big boy have if you need a vacation take a vacation why do you care why do you care who created shiba you know Enough.
subscribe and let me know let me know how you think about the whole thing how you feel about this man bringing lies and somebody need to stop him because now they suing them we don't know how serious that is a billion dollar who has a billion dollar to pay these idiots anyway who come to sue the youtubers you know we try to bring information at the end of the day we let you know it is in our opinions why are you trying to sue us like come on do your own research your own due diligence before you purchase any coin then you sue yourself if you go wrong. But don't try to sue people who's trying to bring you, you know, good information that we do research on. Subscribe. Bye.